Alright, here's a quick video on why I chose the gearing that I have. So anyway, my bike came with a 52, 36, 11, 28. So 52 teeth on the front, uh, on the big one, 36 uh, on the little one, and then 28. So basically, uh, you can see here, this is start right, we're going 57 kilometers an hour, not even sprinting. And this is when the 50 really is not great, because you will be spinning at about 110 RPM at this moment in time, which isn't necessarily bad, but you can definitely see that, like, um, other people who have 50s, I know some of the guys here did, they were like, I just wanted a bigger gear, and even now, like, I'm in my biggest gear now at 60Ks an hour, uh, and this is really when I think the 52 is just pretty useful to have, because it means if you wanted to sprint um, above 60K an hour, like now, if I wanted to go sprint, um, I could actually be able to real get a high, high speed, um, to be honest, and I think often people are just like, oh yeah, but like you'll be sprinting in like 120 cadence, this is like the speed you can go, but it's like, yeah, but if you're on the front at 60 k's an hour, like you don't want to be spinning at 110 cadence necessarily, or if you're following a attack, you don't want to just be spinning it up, sometimes you just want a bigger gear. Um, so anyway, that's why I find the 52 is pretty useful, um, to be honest, for me, uh, and I quite enjoy having a um, 52. It just feels a little bit nice to ride, it's a bit weird to talk about that, but it just feels a little like different than the 50. Um, but anyway, the reason I have a 36 instead of a 30, like 53, 39, is because I do like climbing quite steep climbs. Um, so you can hear, see here, here's like a 20% climb, it gets up to 33%. And then people are saying maybe I should go lower gears, like 36, 34 maybe. But for me, a 36, 28 in London is perfect, like you don't really need much more than that. But like, because I've been going around, I just have a 32 on the back, so you might as well, like, I don't know. The, the spacing of the gearing, I find it's fine, the 11, 32, um, it's pretty good, like, there's not too many big jumps. Like on 10 speed, it was a bit annoying, 11.32, but 11 speed, it's all, it's all good. Um, don't really have any issues with that. But yeah, so I feel like for me, it's quite it's quite nice having the 32, because especially if you're just cruising up like a 10% grade, it means you don't really like, you don't be going that hard to like actually have a decent cadence. Well, like with the 11.28, anything over 10%, unless you're going like decently fast. So if you're just cruising up like 200 watts, 240 watts, it's just a bit annoying. Um, but again, like, I mean, you, I could have a 40% and I'd still probably be grinding up this climb. So for me, it's just like, I'm not going to do this climb if I'm not going full gas. So there's no point having gearing so I can cruise up this climb. Um, for me, the main thing is like, when I'm going full gas, will my cadence suffer? And on these ones, it's like, you, it's almost better if you're grinding a little bit. I feel like you can get a little bit more power. Like, obviously, I probably could have gone faster with a 34 on the back. But for me, it's just not really worth having a 34 on the back because the number of times I do this type of climbs, it's just not really, it's not really worth it. Like, maybe on Doi Intonon, like, it would be nice having smaller gears, but again, it's like one climb. So it just depends. I mean, for me, it's like, where are you going to ride? Like, most of the time I ride in relatively flat areas, so having a 52 is useful. Um, and then having a 36, 32 is like, I can get up anything, really. Um, might not necessarily be the most comfortable, but I know, I, like, there's no climb I really won't be able to get up. Maybe the Montezon Clan, because it's like 10k, 12%. Maybe not. Or Doyan Kang has like 6k at 12%. So maybe those, are, I'll have a little bit of trouble. But it should be all right. Like, um, obviously, if I was racing them, and I was on a team, then yeah, I'd run like 34, 32 of those, but like I can't really afford to change my gearing every like week, um, depending on where I'm riding. So for me, the 52, 36, 11, 32 is the best combination uh, for me. It managed, just means I can get up anywhere, I can ride real fast on the flat, motor pace is 65k an hour, not really a problem. Um, I know some people like Paul has 53, 39 and has bigger on the back, 36 I think, and other people have 50, 34, um, but for me it's like, just might as well keep the what came like the 5236 does all right quite enjoy it uh so anyway cheers for watching hope this is useful um if anyone's wondering what gearing i run uh if i were you figure out where you ride like if you're struggling if you're going full gas up climbs and you're struggling like to get real good cadence for quite a lot of it then i get easier gears it's always better to err on the side of having easier gears and like not easy enough um, but also if you live in a flat area, there's no point having a 32 on the back, like, just go straight block 1123 or whatever, and then it's all good. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's all about where you live. And for me, it's like sometimes when I'm traveling, I just can't really bother to change the gears because it's relatively expensive. You need a new chain, new cassette. It's just like, you know, for the sometime, for like the couple rides where I need it, it's just not really worth the money. But if I lived in Thailand full time, I probably would get a 34 on the back. So I could just, you know, cruise up the climbs a little bit more easily. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.